guys, my name is Allison Kay, and today I'm going to update you all on my second surgery that I had. It was another hysteroscopy with metroplasty, metroplasty, however you say it, whatever. Um, anyway, and then I also, um, I'm going to get right into it, as always, but I do have to warn you guys, this is talking about, like, feminine health, about my uterus, and, um, I would prefer it if you clicked off if you felt uncomfortable, because I think you'd prefer that too. So anyway, um, I had a uterine septum, and we found this out last year. Um, I was pregnant, and then we found out I had that, and I had a miscarriage, and um, we knew that it, I needed surgery, so it was time to get into surgery. So uh, my local doctor referred me to a specialist, um, an RE, which is a reproductive endocrinologist, um, and so I went to my reproductive endocrinologist and she um, confirmed that I needed surgery and so we got that scheduled for last May like this about a month and a half ago uh, May 14th and so I had surgery then um, there were some complications it turns out my septum goes all the way down into the vagina and so I needed to have um, they were having a hard time finding the other half of my uterus through that side of the septum and so it delayed things and so um, they had to basically they ran out of time uh, to do what they needed to do, and so they only got part of it done. Um, so they ended up scheduling a second surgery for me, which was yesterday as I'm filming this. Um, it was, you know, the end of June here. And so I had my second surgery, and they removed the rest of the uterine septum. They left the cervical septum. I'm not really sure um, a lot about that. I will hopefully remember to ask about that when I'm talking to my doctor at my post-op because that is kind of strange, but anyway, um, to me, but I'm not a doctor. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to have, I had that surgery um, to care of the uterine septum, and then I also, they removed the vaginal septum, um, which complicate not complicates, but it just made things a little bit different. Um, overall, I feel great right now. Um, but they did say that they, um, my doctor had to stitch me up <laughs> in the vagina, and so um, it will take six weeks to heal, and it might feel a little uncomfortable afterward, um, but yeah. I also have, um, if you followed my journey with the first surgery, I had a uterine balloon placed in me, and after two or three days, they took it out. Um, that is the same, it was three days last time. Anyway, yeah, so... Once again, I have a I have a uterine balloon in my I have a balloon in my uterus, and they are going to remove that um, this Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure when yet, but um, I will have that removed, and that's what causes most of my discomfort after surgery. So far, right now, I feel absolutely just fine. I do not feel bad at all. I've been taking Motrin just to um, alleviate the discomfort and kind of prevent too much discomfort or pain from occurring. Here's my dog Sadie, uh, but I've been feeling just fine. Um, so I'll go in, and what they do is they just deflate the balloon and pull it out, and, uh, hey, <laughs> Sadie. So, um, after that, I usually feel pretty good, and then it's just going to take a few weeks to, um, you know, heal, and like they said, it'll be six weeks before, um, I think that I'll feel a little bit more normal, um, from that vaginal septum that I had. So, anyway, I don't know when I'll be allowed to try to conceive yet, um, that's something that I will be talking about with my doctor at my follow-up appointment. So for now, this is really all about all that I had to say. It went uh, really well, praise God. I uh, have had a lot of people praying for me, and I think that really, really helped. So cool that they can do this. Um, I feel really blessed that they were able to take care of this, and I should be done now with all surgeries on my uterus. Well, that I know of. Anyway, for this, I'm done. And so I feel really good. Um, and I, yeah, that's about it. If you have questions, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you. And so now I no longer have the septum. It's fully removed. Uh, well, except for the cervix, I guess, <laughs> but no more uterine septum, no more vaginal septum, just um, a good space for growing a baby. So anyway, I'm, oh my gosh, I almost cried just now. I'm so excited to be back on this journey. Um, Luke and I will not try to conceive, you know, it's the end of June. We'll not, we won't be trying to conceive in July. I don't think we'll try in August. Um, I really probably should get my wisdom teeth removed soon and so I need to look into that and schedule that and um, I don't know how long that will take for me to get that surgery done but hopefully um, I'll get it done in August or so that way I can start trying to conceive again in September or October um, I would really like to conceive before I'd like to start trying at least in September if we can but um, anyway that's all thanks for watching have a great day God bless and I'll see you later bye